when we're trying to look at wheat yields, we again want to work back from the yield components, really, just like we do in other crops. But you know, what what's it going to take to get a hundred bushel wheat? And we want to focus in on you know how many heads we have per square yard, and then the uniformity of those. So when we think about what affects uh, head count and uniformity, a lot of this is going to go back to that planting pass. So how good of a job are we doing when we're drilling the wheat and getting the uniformity? We really want all these wheat plants to come up at the same time, uh, and we want early planting dates to help enhance uh, potential tiller growth. So good tiller growth in the fall is a big deal, and this is something in Michigan sometimes we struggle with. If we don't get our beans off early enough to get the wheat in, we get these late planting dates, and late planting dates have a direct uh, uh, impact on yield with uh, reducing yield. So um, early planting dates is a huge key and then the uniformity of that planting pass, uniform planting depth um, and making sure residue isn't an issue for uh, trying to sow the wheat into the ground, you get pinched residue, etc. Yeah, I think one thing you got to evaluate is what your plant growth is like late fall or early spring. So our goal would be for every plant out there to have what we'd call three tillers. Uh, three good tillers will give us opportunity for three heads per plant. And that's kind of where our goal is to try to get to that 600 heads per square yard. Um, so if we get a late planting date, you know, how can we attempt to offset that? It's through nitrogen management. So if, if we come into early spring here this time of the year in this next week or 10 days of warm weather is going to give farmers a great opportunity to get out and look at their wheat fields. Uh, but if we see that we're short on tillers, if we're not averaging you know, three tillers on a plant, then we would push and run a little heavier nitrogen rate early. So maybe now I'm going to do a two-pass nitrogen program, and maybe I'm going to run maybe 50, 60 pounds right now, or here as it's breaking dormancy, and then I would follow up with the rest of mine in my second shot of night, you know, the second shot um, around that growth stage five is typically where we do that. If you get out there and you see that you had really good fall growth, you've got three, four tillers averaging on a plant, then maybe we'd only want to put maybe 30 pounds of nitrogen out right now and then come back later with the rest. On the other extreme, if we went out there and we had five, six tillers on every plant, so the wheat's almost too growthy for us, then we'd say, well, I'm not going to do two shots of nitrogen. I'm going to wait and put it all on at once uh, and do a one-pass program. So nitrogen management is a big deal in wheat, and we let that depend on what the plants are telling us based on tiller counts. Uh, of course, your overall stands and uh, planting date had a, has a huge effect on that. I think that, you know, I think you got to run the numbers for sure and, and see what they're telling you. Um, I think what the challenge is um, in wheat, it's going to be trying to figure out if you're not going to keep it all, which fields do you keep, which ones do you don't. And I would let how well the plant growth looks determine that. And you can probably do a, a, quite a bit off your planting date. So if you did have some fields that got in late, those are going to be the fields I'd give up first. If you had a field that got in, you know, right after fly-free date in the later part of September, those are going to be your better opportunity fields for yield. Anytime economics are tough, yield is still king. So when it comes to wheat, we can't cheat on nitrogen, we can't cheat on fungicide. Fungicide is huge on wheat. Um, in my opinion, I wouldn't grow a wheat crop without having a fungicide on there. Today, to me, more the decision isn't if I'm going to use a fungicide or not, it's when do I use the fungicide. So if we get real early pressure uh, disease like powdery mildew, for example, then maybe we need to be in there um, you know, late jointing stage through flag leaf. But if I've stayed pretty clean through flag leaf, then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to wait and put my fungicide on during flowering. Because head scab, as you know, is another huge problem in Michigan. So if, if I don't have early pressure of other foliar diseases, I'm going to wait and use my fungicide for head scab uh, and, and apply it at that timing of flowering. I think wheat is a huge crop as far as scouting and responding to management. So wheat is not the crop that you manage from inside the office or the shop. You got to get out in the field, let the wheat tell you what it needs, and uh, do what it says, and you'll have a lot better opportunity for high yields.